The United States of America has recorded more than 52,000 new cases of the coronavirus in just the last 24 hours and this is the highest single day spike since the start of the pandemic. The United States of America now has over 2.7 million confirmed infections of the Wuhan virus and more than 130,000 deaths so far. COVID-19 cases have more than doubled in almost 14 states. Three major states, California, Texas and Arizona, have now emerged as new epicenters of this pandemic. Good afternoon. Hospitalizations and deaths have reached a record high in California. Governor Gavin Newsom has now announced latest measures to curb this spread. Indoor activities at restaurants, movie theaters and other facilities will be banned in the state for at least three more weeks. Cars were seen queuing in line at a free testing site in Los Angeles as people rushed to testing centers in the states. And not only California, long lines of cars were also seen at drive through coronavirus testing sites in Texas and Florida as well. With the virus resurging in many U.S. states, it looks like the Trump administration has changed its tone on wearing masks. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence was seen wearing a mask while visiting Arizona. Even President Donald Trump, who has never been publicly seen wearing a mask, said that he would wear one in a tight situation with people. Listen. It. I'm all for masks. I think masks are good. I would wear, if I were in a group of people and I was close. You would wear one. Oh, I would, I would, oh, I have. I mean, people have seen me wearing one. If I'm in a group of people where we're not, you know, 10 feet away, and but usually I'm not in that position, and everyone's tested. Because I'm the president, they get tested before they see me. But if I were in a tight situation with people, I would absolutely. Do you think the public will see that at some point? I mean, I'd have no problem. Actually, I, I had a mask on. I sort of liked the way I looked. Okay, I thought it was okay. It was a dark black mask and I thought it looked okay. It looked like the Lone Ranger. But uh, no, I have no problem with it. I think, uh, and if people feel good about it, they should do it. Now that was President Trump saying that a face mask would make him look like the Lone Ranger, who's a popular Hollywood Western character. To get our great work. On your screens now is a picture of the Lone Ranger, who is famous for his iconic face mask that he wears over his eyes. The comparison has now become cannon fodder for trolls and members on social media. Joining us on this broadcast is Jagruti Dave, who is joining us live from Washington, D.C. Jagruti, the verdict is still out, isn't it, whether President Donald Trump will look like the Lone Ranger if he wears a face mask. But the situation in America is getting out of hand. Over 50,000 new cases reported over the last 24 hours, which is a new record. Yes, the situation is clearly dire in many states across the United States. You mentioned a few of those, Texas, California, Arizona, Florida. Um, the, the cases, there's peak hospitalizations in many of these states. And as you mentioned, they are now rethinking their reopening plans. Many of them have put them on hold. Many of them are reversing. So um, the governor of California has ordered several counties to close their bars to stop indoor gatherings. Um, the governor of New York has um, mandated that um, in his state. Um, he's, ta he's taken a pause on uh, indoor gatherings and um, the governor of New, J New Jersey um, stopped his uh, state from uh, having uh, those reopening plans uh, that was going to move forward through the phases. And it's real concerned because the experts believe that in a lot of these states like Texas um, they reopen too soon and that is a major concern of the sort of the, the pressure, the balancing act um, that states were trying to do uh, with uh, reopening the economy with something that many uh, c critics of the Trump administration say that pressure came from the top down to reopen but also balancing the um, safety, the public health aspect and some experts, health experts think that many of these states got that, states got that balance wrong.
uh, the world has to find a balance between uh, reopening the economy and trying to still contain the spread of this pandemic. Now, Dr. Fauci has warned that the United States could witness close to 100,000 cases a day if urgent steps are not taken. In fact, the number of new cases in the United States has shot up by 80% in the last two weeks. So this, this just goes to indicate where the battle against the coronavirus is heading in the United States. Now, if we just talk about the last two weeks and the spike in cases, the United States also witnessed large-scale protests, uh, the Black Lives Matter protests. It's a huge racial equality movement. Has there been any link between those large-scale widespread protests uh, where thousands of people were out on the streets and a spike in the number of cases? Well, what Dr. Fauci said when he was talking about the spike uh, and saying that the, we, that the United States could see up to um, uh, a, you know, a, a huge significant surge in cases, um, he attributed that to the fact that people uh, were not social distancing and the fact that people were clearly not uh, adhering to the guidance on wearing face masks. And those are the things that he said that people needed to do um, if they didn't want to see a return to those really strict lockdowns that we saw earlier on. Um, and so those are really some of the reasons, um, as well as, as I mentioned, the states reopening too soon. So under the CDC guidelines, states were asked to make sure that there was a decrease, a consistent decrease over a period of two weeks in the number of cases, as well as uh, the number of hospitalizations. And they, they had to show, uh, demonstrate that that was the case, um, as well as other criteria before they advanced into those various phases that uh, the coronavirus task force set out all those months ago when the talk of reopening first started. But clearly a lot of these states haven't done so. They've pushed ahead with reopening. The, um, and many critics of the administration argue that the enthusiasm coming from senior officials on reopening and on um, the need to uh, bring the economy back up and running, that enthusiasm really uh, is uh, what is, uh, some experts are attributing to the rise in these cases that is happening that we're seeing in states like Texas, like Arizona uh, right now. Right, Jagruti, one final question. So uh, the 4th of July weekend is also coming up. It will certainly pose new challenges for the administration. Yes, indeed. Um, usually the 4th of July in the United States is a huge affair. There's um, you know, people uh, outside in crowds um, looking to see fireworks displays, um, people gathering on rooftops to get a better view if they can't make it out into the centre of town in Washington, D.C., for example. Um, but this time round and across the country, a lot of the advice is stay at home, don't go out, because the surge in cases because of the spread of coronavirus uh, is so uh, drastic in so many places. The advice is stay at home, stay away from people. It's really the, the rhetoric is really going back to uh, to what it was when the lockdowns were in place, even though that sort of centrally guided uh, lockdown mandates not there. This is really on a state by state basis in some places, county by county. But really, the advice is um, in so many of these places to stay at home. So the 4th of July may not be uh, as uh, exciting uh, with the crowds as it has been in previous years, but I'm sure people will try and find socially distanced ways to celebrate it nonetheless. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, U.S. is continuing its battle against the coronavirus pandemic. Over 52,000 cases reported in just the last 24 hours, which is a new record. Meanwhile, United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has welcomed India's decision to ban 59 Chinese apps over security concerns. Pompeo said that the move would boost India's security and national integrity. India had accused Chinese apps of working against India's interests and undermining India's sovereignty. These concerns were mirrored by Mike Pompeo, who said that some Chinese apps were being used by Beijing for surveillance purposes. India's ban on certain mobile apps that can serve as an appendages of the CCP's surveillance state. India's clean app approach will boost India's sovereignty. It will also boost India's integrity and national security as the Indian government itself has stated.